We have a mixed fishery down here of beam trawlers and day boats, catching all sorts of different species, about 35, 40 different species. But it's under strict control, strict quotas. The boats are only allowed a certain amount of days at sea. If you are worried about sustainability, I tend to try and advise people, you know, don't stop eating a certain species, but ensure that the fishery the fish is coming from is one of those that's being well managed. All of our British fisheries have been through a tough time, but the management of them is getting better and, uh, and we are seeing some good results. I think most people are scared of cooking fish and it amazes me. I think any chef will tell you that actually it's one of the easiest things to cook. You know, when you get a check on in the kitchen, a uh, piece of fish is all over so quickly, it's great. So I think it's just getting confident with it really. No luck. I'm never the luckiest fisherman, but uh, there again it is late for mackerel and that was all I was going to catch with this line. So we're just out the mouth of the River Dart. Sails are set, bobbing around, and uh, it's time for lunch. And uh, I've got myself um, a piece of red mullet that, uh, that I've brought out. I often fish, but I'm not very good at it, so pinching a fillet of fish is great. And red mullet's great this time of year, really lovely fish, nice and oily. I'm cooking it in butter. Uh, it might seem a bit unhealthy, but butter and fish go perfectly together. And when I actually serve it to eat, I don't take the butter with it, I just take the fish out of the pan. It gets all that lovely nuttiness. And I just season the fish with a little salt. In the pan, you can see that curling up, it's so fresh, it's lovely. So just wait till that uh, starts to really bubble. And then what I do is keep the, the butter moving over the fish. So it doesn't burn because you're moving it around. I've got a few sage leaves going in here. Sage and red mullet work really well because red mullet's got this its kind of almost saffron flavour in the skin which is its really savoury and I always think the flesh of the red mullet, especially big fish, are like a chicken oyster, slightly oily and uh, just gorgeous. I think um, I get asked many times what's my favourite fish and I would say red mullet, it really is. Now I've, my skin's come off the fish there. And, uh, but don't worry because the skin, you see how the colour of the butter, it's got a lovely goldenness to it and that's from the skin of the mullet and I can smell it, it's so savoury and gorgeous. Final base for the butter. Some lemon juice and then that lovely piece of fish. Probably one of my favourite lunches, red mullet with sage and lemon. And it just goes to show how easy it is to cook a piece of fish. And you can cook it anywhere. <laughs>